In today's video, I'll be showing you how to take a data set like this and turn it into an Excel dashboard with a navigation pane that looks something like this. Welcome back to Answers Excel Academy. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to make this neat and dynamic navigation pane in Excel, which automatically takes you to your desired spreadsheet within your workbook. And what's interesting is that no one can tell really that this is all done in Microsoft Excel. So let's get started on how to make this happen. Here is my source data. As you can see, I have three spreadsheets, revenues, operating expenses, and HR. And I want to take this data and create the dashboard with a navigation pane that I've created in my example. So what I've done, first of all, is I've opened up a fresh Excel file, okay? And there's nothing on this Excel file. Now, the first step will be to go ahead and select your first column, column A, and hide column A, and as well as select row 1 and hide row 1. Then I'm going to select this um, arrow on the top left over here. This is going to select all cells, and I'm going to give them a uniform color. In my case, I'll go with white. Now for the navigation pane, what we'll do is we will select an area within the file which is going to be dedicated to the navigation pane. So in my case, column B, C, D, and E will be the navigation pane. So I want it to be four columns thick. Now I'll go into background. I'm going to format it to the color that I want. So in my case, I want a uh, dark green color, which is the color I like. And I'm going to go ahead and select the top two or three um, rows and I'm going to go ahead and merge them and I'm going to write down navigation just so that people know that th this is the navigation pane. I'm going to make sure this is centered properly and I'll format the size a little bit as well just so it looks professional and I'll format it to a white color and I'll also bold it. Okay. Once I've done that, I want to add the tabs of my navigation pane. So in my main Excel file, as you can see, there are three tabs, revenues, operating expenses, and HR. So similarly, in my Excel file over here, there's going to be three tabs that the user can select. Revenues, operating expenses, and HR. Now, once I've done that, I'll go ahead and I will format these as well. So I will highlight the rows and I will merge them. And then I will increase the size slightly as well. This is just for aesthetics and uh, cosmetics. And I will color them white and I will give them a bold as well. Okay. Now we need to kind of make this linked to the spreadsheets. So what we're going to do is we're going to create three spreadsheets over here, which are going to replicate our data sheets that are over here. So we had three data sheets. So one, two, and three. So the first one was uh, revenues. The second one was operating expenses. So we'll just write down OP expenses. And the third one was um, HR. Okay. And the main sheet was just our uh, main home sheet. So we can just call it home. And that reminds me, we also need a home sheet in our navigation pane in case we want to return to the home page. So let's go ahead and let's add that as well. Okay, so I've added the home sheet as well. Now it's time for us to get into some more formatting and linking, okay? So now in the home sheet, what I'm gonna go is I'm gonna select the home tab within the home sheet and I'm gonna give it a white color so it blends in with the background. And for the text, I'm gonna give it a black color so that you can see the text. And you can see it looks more aesthetically appealing because you can tell you are on the home sheet. So it makes it more distinguished. Now that we've done that, I'm going to link the remaining sheets to their respective sheets. And don't worry about my data. I'm going to be adding that uh, momentarily as well. Okay. So I'm going to go into revenues here and I'm going to go into link and I'll select a place in this document and I'll select the revenues spreadsheet, which is right over here. And I'll go OK. And I will do the same thing for operating expenses and I'll link it to operating expenses. And I'll do the same thing for HR, okay? And once I've done that, I'm going to select these three tabs and I'll fix the formatting 
to uh, how it was before. Now that we've done that, we want to do the remaining strategy for the other sheets. So if I click on revenue, it's going to take me to the reven revenue sheet. And if I click on operating expenses or HR, it's going to take me to those sheets. But we haven't got to the process of uh, formatting these spreadsheets yet. So what I'll do is I'll select this arrow on the top left corner once again, and I'll go control C. Now I'll go into each and every spreadsheet and I'll go control V. Okay. And I will do that for each and every spreadsheet. Okay. Now our home spreadsheet is um, essentially ready. Theoretically speaking, it's ready. Um, now for the revenues sheet, what we want to do is we want to remove this background from the home sheet. Okay. And we want to give it a uh, white color. And we want to make sure that the revenue sheet can take us back to home. It can take us to operating expenses and it can take us to HR. So what I'm going to do is, first of all, I'm going to highlight, I'm going to color this white um, as we did with our home sheet over here. We colored the home tab white. And after we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to link each sheet. So home is going to be linked with home. Operating expenses will be linked with our operating expenses. And HR will be linked with HR. And I'll go ahead and I'll select all of these and I will give them the formatting that they had earlier. So they had bold, the size was a little bit bigger and they had a white color to them. Okay, so I'll go ahead and I'll give those. And as you can see now, home and revenue sheets are ready. So I can go to the home sheet and I can select revenues and it takes me to revenues. Now I can conversely go into revenue sheet and go back to home from here as well. Now it's time for us to do the remaining two sheets in the exact same format, okay? So now we've created a system where you can go from home all the way to operating expenses, from there to revenues, and from there back to home, and you can kind of cycle around and switch between these two tabs. Now I'll do this exact same process for the HR tab, and then we can move on to the next step of loading the data into our Excel dashboard. Okay, so now everything seems to be linked. HR is also linked to everything. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add, I'm going to zoom in a little bit on each of these uh, sheets. Uh, about 142 is good. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same to the other sheets as well. Give them a custom formatting of uh, zoom of 142%. Okay, so now everything is 142%. Now we can go ahead and take care of a little bit more cosmetics related things. I'm going to select all these. I'm just going to make sure that they're a uniform size. So in my case, they're all 16. And I'm going to do the remaining, do the same for the remaining cells and make sure that they're all a uniform size. Just again for uh, cosmetics, okay? Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we are going to load our data from our Excel file here. Now this is a simple copy paste process. What I did was I took the table here in the revenue sheet, control C, and then I bring it back into our dashboard, go into revenues, and I paste it where I'd like. And then of course we will auto fit as deemed necessary. And then I'll go ahead and I'll do the same for the chart. I will control C it. I'm gonna do the same thing for operating expenses and HR, just copy and paste the tables. And after I'm done all of that, I should end up with a navigation pane and a dashboard that looks something like this. So that's how you can create a navigation pane in Excel and surprise your friends and tell them that you've actually used Excel to do this. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.